Hello everyone, welcome back to Hacking with Ken. So today video, we are going to be talking about what you should do before hacking any Wi-Fi. Like I've seen so many people like they just want to hack Wi-Fi. They don't do this kind of stuff. They don't gather information about a Wi-Fi network and end up getting caught or worse they don't get wi-fi hacked and they get disappointed and say the wi-fi hacking is fake well i'm here to tell you that if you do stuff right the, uh, you will be able to hack any wi-fi network but if you only do these stuffs right so first of all uh, you should gather information about a wi-fi network okay uh, but how will we do that okay there's a tool called kismet we are going to be using that just type sudo kismet and then hyphen c okay first of all let me tell you this uh, mostly works better with uh, adapter with monitor mode so if you don't have a monitor mode in your adapter well it's uh, kismet is not going to work with you very well so i'm just going to type uh, if config and i already plugged in my uh, tp link adapter which supports the monitor mode really well so I'm going to type sudo kismet hyphen c and I will type wlan1 and I have to give him the password and here we go. Now we have to go to this page and we will be able to look at kismet interface. Now the best thing about kismet it it provides the web interface which is really good for me. I really love uh, some tools that provides uh, web interfaces. So these literally are my favorite tools uh that's why i love spiderfoot and um, you know uh, that's why i love openwas and nessus and these kind of tools they are literally the best because these they provide web interfaces which is really really cool i mean you can see the gui interfaces or everything and um, you know it just uh, like best so after that if you haven't set up a login account you need to set up a login account let's uh, set up a login account i think i have already saved my password okay let's continue okay now here you will see all the wi-fi network that are near your area okay as you can see i have my sol eater 56 i clicked on that and there it is sol eater 56 i can copy its name and here's the mac address or what we call the bssid and the manufacturer is huawei technologies now this information can be really important i mean when you are setting up a phishing page on your evil twin attack you can now do it perfectly you can know uh, you know that it's uh, huawei technologies well i can set up a page that will look like the huawei technologies and victim will put the password because it's huawei so and the main frequency is 2.457 which is almost 2.5 uh sorry uh i guess 2.5 or 2.4 i think so wi-fi works mainly with uh 2.4 or 5 so channel is 5 it uses the channel 5 so we won't have to do channel hopping now some routers uh do channel hopping too now we can see total number of packets are going 300 plus it means the uh, there are active users on this wi-fi network it means if we launch an evil twin attack or if we get an, a handshake capture we will be able to get something okay now we can go here 802.11 is um, here and we can see all the beacons and uh, whatever so packet graphics we can see that packets are being you know sent and we can see all the options that we need so basically if we click on any other wi-fi network which i'm not going to because they are not mine so we can see all the you know wi-fi networks that are near me okay now i'm not doing anything and they literally tell you that what kind of encryption this wi-fi network has now i can also do a filtering i can also do wi-fi access points only access points will be shown now only access points will be shown it means that my soliter and uh, my soliter 57 will be shown now no one is connected to soliter 57 uh, unless my other devices uh, so some of my servers i guess are connected to it and we can see uh, beacons are being sent and whatever so and this is how you should gather information about a wi-fi network before going into hacking now we have the perfect uh, information what we are up against we have to crack wpa2psk encryptions and then 
we have we know the channel we know the bs society we know the s society very well and we know which s society is the most perfect which s society has the most traffic going on so we can target that as a uh, society and we can get its wi-fi password so uh, this is how you should gather proper information before launching an evil twin attack or handshake attack this is all for today and i will see you guys in the next video